Hi guys. Okay, we're going to uh, just a minute talk about Harry and the planned assassination of him. All right, using the Freemason Protocol of Numbers derived from the King James 1611 Bible and the James Strong's Exhaustive Concordance. We can pinpoint the date and distance from Buckingham Palace to the precise location that they intend to assassinate the true King, Harry. Now, of course, it is imperative for the present royal family to eliminate Harry, he being the third in line for the throne after his stepfather, Charles, and his half-brother, William. Recently, Charles made a joke of his genetics, being a direct descendant of Vlad, a man known as the Impaler, a vicious killer who had thousands of men, women and children, sat on a spear set upright in the ground. The official lineage of the Queen claims a direct descent from Jesus. Her family tree has, let's see, Jesus married to his half-sister Mary Magdalene, incest, and they're supposed to be the son and daughter of Egypt, Cleopatra and Julius Caesar. And so we get the Egyptian connection via Freemasonry, attempting to link the altar to the Lord from Isaiah 19, 19 and 20 to them. Quoting, in that day shall there be an altar to the Lord in the midst of the land of Egypt and a pillar at the border thereof to the Lord. And it shall be for a sign and a witness unto the Lord of hosts in the land of Egypt for they shall cry unto the Lord because of the oppressors and he shall send them a saviour and a great one and he shall deliver them. Their genetic lineage are a part of a vast conspiracy to remove the true line of kings of Judah. The Bible, of course, is an invented, plagiarised and manipulated gathering of descent through King Solomon, who is the father of witchcraft, out of which came the occult mysteries known today as Freemasonry. Now, in the Bible, of course, you've got Solomon receiving 666 talents of gold from his Ammonite and Moabite wives. They are the descendants of Sodom via the incest between Lot and his daughters. Now quoting from 1 Kings 10.14 Now the weight of gold that came to Solomon one year was 603 score and 6 talents of gold. Quoting again Now the weight of gold that came to Solomon one year was 603 score and 6 talents of gold. Six six, 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 six. That points directly to the Revelation, chapter 13, verse 18. Quoting, Here is wisdom, let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. So what is it saying? Solomon, the beast. All right, now that verse, Revelation 13, 18, has an English value gematria, of 1451 and is from, in the Hebrew Concordance, 1443, the word is Gadar and that equals a Mason. That's confirming, Solomon. Now Lady Diana was murdered in the Alma Tunnel. Her driver crashed in the car into the 13th pillar. The driver and Dodi al Fayed died instantly and she, Diana, was injured slightly. She was murdered, however, in the ambulance. It was a two-hour trip to travel just four kilometres to the hospital. The murder vehicle had been removed. Now, we're getting back to the Mercedes that she was in. The murder vehicle had been removed from the fleet of cars owned by Dodie's father, Al Sayed. It was returned to the fleet on the day that Diana was murdered, August the 31st, 1997. Now, it would appear that Al Sayed himself was in on the plot, but somehow... His son ended up being in the car. Two witnesses approaching the Alma Tunnel reveal what happened. A flash of light from a motorcycle carrying two men overtook the car. 
firing what is known as a light cannon, flashing a brilliant light blinding the driver and at the same time a tyre was blown out by remote control causing the precise impact to occur at that 13th pillar. Now what also happened was that uh, there was a vehicle waiting inside the tunnel to blow the tyre at that precise moment and the combined light and blowout sending the car into the 13th pillar which just happened to be under the exact place where the sacrifice to the goddess Diana had taken place in ancient times that is in the times of Vlad the Impaler the royal lineage of Charles. Now a man driving home was behind the car and witnessed the motorbike first overtaking him and then the limousine followed by a flash of light and then the crash now there was a second witness and he was a young doctor driving home from a hospital. He stopped and he was photographed by the photographers who had been chasing Diana. Now the photograph uh, of him was recorded at 12.31 a.m. This number in Greek, 12.31, is from 12.23 and 10.97 and it means to know thoroughly, ascertain exactly, inquire, know the uttermost and that's with the doctor diagnosing Diana at the exact time. Diagnostical. Uh, yes, diag yes, diagnos well, well, let's say it properly. Diagnosco. So that's what the doctor was doing. He was diagnosing Diana and she was alive. Now the photographer had captured the moment as the doctor opening the undamaged side rear door as he was attempting to assist Lady Diana. She was seated on the right side. Her bodyguard survived. Now he has since lost his memory alleged uh, to be from the trauma but uh, it is however death threat from Charles. We have that first hand confirmation from somebody who has spoken to him. He knows that we are here and he got the message to us that uh, he is under threat from Charles to keep his mouth shut. Now of course the driver himself, he had a little nest egg stashed away. An informer for MI6 and the CIA, a common ploy for spy agencies to hire stooges working in luxury hotels or in this case he, the driver for Diana, and the unsuspecting Dodie who must have decided to join her. It was a setup, as the driver did not drive exactly to, uh, directly to Dodie's apartment and he had to take the He never the route. intended to go to Dodie's apartment. Yeah, right, well. That's just his say. Yeah. He That's was going away from it. Yeah, having to take the route away from Dodie's apartment and taking the longer route via the tunnel. Um, the fact that he drove through the tunnel indicates he was under orders to take that particular road and the impact occurred at 12.28 a.m. 12.28 in the Greek dictionary from 12.25, a traducer, especially Satan, devil, slanderer. Now, if we go back to the 666, you know, what is the 666 in the Greek concordance? It is, the 6 is the number 5516. So now we can work with that. Charles is the father of William, not Harry. The date of the birth of William was June the 21st, 1982. Lady Diana was induced. It's very convenient, as kings throughout history were always reported to have been born on dates heralded by the stars. In this case, it was the summer solstice, and uh, she had to have uh, she had to be induced because what's his name had a polo match or something. No, they wanted the 21st. Yeah, of June. No, I know that, but the excuse was he had a polo match. Now, moreover, William at that time was, uh, at the time of Diana's death, was 5,550 days old. And that is the Christ word number found in 522 verses of the 1611 KGB. And the 522 number is mother in Hebrew. We see a pattern. The mother giving birth to a satanic bloodline via child who is uh, made to look to be the Christ. Her murder achieved two things, the Christ number and eliminating Diana because she was in fact the true royal line of King David. We then have the devil number 1228 and, and the capital D, devil. And unknown to Diana, she was the most royal line and was brought in to breed a king for Charles. They have to eliminate Harry as he is not the son of Charles and therefore he is the true king. So any possible link to Diana has to be hushed up and then eliminated because he's the son of James Stewart and he does not have any Vlad the Impaler blood in him. Now by royal law of course Diana was an adulteress and uh, that was punishable by death. Uh, the president being King Henry VIII mm -hmm. beheading... He, he actually killed his, um, had his wife 
who was 15 years old, and she was having an affair with a 16-year-old boy, and uh, she, justifiably so, because uh, King Henry VIII had syphilis, and she didn't want nothing to do with him. So uh, what happened was they found out, beheaded the young lad, put his head on a stick, mm. and then she was being led to the chop with her boyfriend's head on the mm. stick as she approached. Oh, my God. This is what the bastards do, right? So it's behead. All right, but as uh, Diana could not face the axe, as they'd have liked to have do, do, done, an assassination was their only option. Harry, however, has been kept alive until he can be assassinated and then start a popular war against the Muslim world. That would be World War III, a nuclear war. On June the 16th, 2008, Prince William became the 1,000th member of the Order of the Garter, being the 1,000th points of light. A satanic ritual indicating the beast has to be the next king out of the house of Windsor. There he is. Harry and all of his, not Harry, William and all of his regalia. I should also point out in the uh, tradition of the Zionist, um, you would have no problem eliminating your own son mm. if it protected you from being dethroned or not getting thrown at all. So with Harry out of the way, the next victim would be this one here. It would be William. And yes. then that would make uh, Charles the king. And yes. Yes, their king of kings has to be ruthless. Now with that clearly in mind, William's father descends from Vlad the Impaler. Harry is not of the Vlad lineage or Jesus via Mary Magdalene, his sister, linking the royals to Egypt, Cleopatra, Rome, via Julius Caesar. Diana was murdered on August the 31st, 1997. It gives us a date in 2012. By adding the number for 666, which is that 5516 number, you add that as days to her death date and it lands on October the 7th, 2012. This date, October the 7th, 2012, is 280 days after January the 1st, 2012. And the 280 is the perfect human gestation in day. That was the date I was in the air flying back from Canada to uh, take on Australia. I'd already defeated Canada. Um, when the story finally comes out, we'll have witnesses in Canada who are in the police and the government and so forth, and they will verify one of them. And that's saying. October the 7th, yeah. That's right. Yeah. So I was in the air. And what have you told them? You're going back to fight the beast? I said, I'm going Australia. back, I'll fight the beast in Australia, and that's where it all ends. Mm. So here we are, uh, Diana murdered... Of 1996, by the way. Yes. Diana murdered August the 31st, 1997, adding the 5516 as days, October the 7th, 20. Now, tw that date, October the 7th, is 22 days after Harry turns 28, his birthday being September the 15th, just days away. So that would make him 28, 22. So we have a number. 282 in the Hebrew dictionary from 2821, the dark, hence literally darkness, misery, destruction, death, Sorrow, wickedness, darkness, night, obscurity, death. Now we can measure using the 5516. Now remember the 5516 number is the 666 number. That's what 6 is listed as, 5516. So, to measure from Buckingham Palace in a direct line toward the military base in Afghanistan. Now the base itself is 3,462 miles distance from Buckingham Palace. That number in Hebrew means to die. You're beginning to get the picture. Now in nautical miles from London it measures 3003. We've got 3003. And that in the Greek dictionary of Latin origin is a legion. Roman regiment legion. Leading into Mark 5 9 quoting and he asked him what is thy name? And he answered, saying, My name is Legion, for we are many. And of course, he's talking to the devil that was occupying, the demons that were occupying. You're all gathered together now in England. That's right. Legion is gathered in England. Now, from the base, now the 5516 kilometres measuring from London toward the base falls short of the base by a distance of 29.66 nautical miles. That number, 2966 in the Hebrew Dictionary, from 2964 is prey, flock, devoured by animals, raven, 
that which was torn of beasts in pieces. The raven, of course, is uh, from the Hindu Vedas and is symbolic of Satan. And of course, any body in the desert like that uh, would be torn to pieces, to pieces by the beasts of the and that desert. That virus database has been updated. Now, the base where Harry is stationed measures 6,463 kilometres from the North Pole. That number, Hebrew dictionary, is a primitive root and it means to scream or cry. Now, on that date, 7th of October 2012, just weeks away, Yahweh will be 35.8, sorry, 3587 weeks old. The number 3587 in the Hebrew dictionary is from 3554 and is a brand or scar, I mean, burning. Now, just this afternoon before seeing this PowerPoint, I was sitting opposite to and looking at Yahweh and noticing that the scar on his forehead is really prominent. It's very pronounced and I could see it in the full daylight and I said to him, it's the first time I have seen so clearly that scar above your right eye. And he, last night and the night before, hasn't been able to sleep, we've both been thinking about Harry, Harry's been on our minds, but he said to me this morning, you know, my feet were burning all morning. So, you know, we've got the answer here. On that date, Prince William will be 1580 weeks old, and that number in the Greek from 1537 and 2865 means to bear forth to burial, carry out. So what is it saying? That William will carry out the burial of his brother. On that date, the sun over the base camp at a 5.43 sunrise and a setting of 17.19 equals 696 minutes or 11.6 hours. Now the number 696 Hebrew from 6.93 is to lurk, lie in ambush, lay or lie in wait. That is to lie in ambush. And the 116 number in Hebrew is then of time. Now that time then. Going down to London, Saturn on the date. The Saturn rise is 7.39 and setting at 18.01 for a rise of 622 minutes in Greek is to destroy fully, to perish or lose, literally destroy, die, perish. That number in Hebrew is to gather for any purpose, that is to remove, consume and destroy. Now, last month in August, of course, there was General Dempsey went to the went to Israel, went to Tel Aviv, to the Zionist Jews, to Netanyahu, and told them that the USA will not be involved in a war with Iran. When he returned to Afghanistan, of course, his aircraft was hit with a rocket while on the ground, and they found that all the defences were switched off, and it being the most fortified base on earth, how? Well, the USA trains Afghans to fight the Taliban within the base. The Afghan army now is 350,000 strong. And they've been trained by NATO and the US forces. Some of the Afghan are Taliban, surprisingly stupid of America, to allow the enemy to have infiltrated under their defences and able to enter top security areas, switching off the night scope, radar, rocket defences, etc. That is... If they actually... Well, I... I it's very likely it's coming from above in the military yes, because right. the military is the ones that are behind the seven-nation takeover and now it's stopping. That's what it was all about. So uh, the uh, Pentagon is probably uh, behind it. I doubt if it, uh, the Americans are stupid to allow... Well, uh, well, the general flat-out refuses. That is not the case. That was the report again through this... Uh, Channel 4 news reporting on that, but that seems to be straight out of Tavistock. We'll get to that in a minute. Now, as for Harry, he must be burned alive in order to achieve the greatest effect on the West. And what is the likely scenario is another Apache helicopter will be fitted with a timed incendiary device. The crew will be about to man their regular chopper and then be ordered to switch. All checked out and ready to fly. Just use this one over here. Then over the designated flight plan, it'll be detonated. So they'd have to obey if their commander in chief told them to do it, they've got to do it. Now going to the news report of this supposed Taliban threat, Harry arrives in Afghanistan on the 7th 
of September. Well, the news report from the 7th of September uh, alleges that the leader of the Taliban made a statement boasting that they'll either kidnap or kill Harry. Now, the wording indicates that it's totally fake and that, uh, you know, they know he'll be in a helicopter, but just listen to the wording that comes up. It's supposedly, speaking on the telephone from Helmand, we've got Moldi Amma Abdullah Amadiya saying, this is a quote, it's good news for us that we are always in search of such precious birds. Our priority will be to kidnap him at any cost as we have our informers at the military base being used by the British troops here in Helmand. So you can see the predictive programming setting the public up to, well, you know, we were warned. This is a British news site too from what I can gather. And if we don't succeed then, still quoting, we would like to eliminate him through our Afghan friends working with British troops. Hello? Now, of course, what they're doing is setting the propaganda stage to have Harry killed. The media owned by the Zionists have created the idea that the news report was from the Taliban, a genuine call. Now, firstly, the Taliban would not warn the British nor use language that is a bird for a helicopter. The whole idea is that Harry is in danger and that will be in the public mind. Now, Harry may have figured it out. Uh, he has no way of getting back to England or even if he was only 747 with 300 soldiers, the Taliban will shoot it down with the assistance of covert troops to make it appear it was the Taliban. Indeed, he is stuck between a rock and a hard place. Now, yeah, you know, he arrived in Afghanistan on the 7th of September, and that's the day of the war. Not only that, his first tour of duty was in 2008, and there was a total news media blackout on his presence in Afghanistan, and when it was discovered he was there, then he was shipped out immediately to keep him safe. Not so this time, you've got Britain publicising the fact, you heard us announce it as soon as Dex left the message on our Skype, it's just been announced in London that Harry's on his way back to, hello, no news media blackout this time, and the reasoning that they gave, oh he'll be a lot safer this time, he's not on the ground, he's in a helicopter. Yeah, right. And what did they say? Oh, the Taliban had, have not yet shot down an Apache helicopter. <laughs> All right, now, of course, angelic intervention will save his life. Putting the prince in a helicopter is the perfect way to achieve, achieve the burnt offering and World War Three, which will immediately begin while the West is still in shock. Will the attempted assassination of Harry go ahead as planned? Yes. Will they be successful? No. Yahweh's angels will prevent it, turning the tables on the Illuminati. The solar system has already crossed back into the heavenly realm. It did so on December 11, 2011. And we are now in the judgment floor of heaven. For those of you who have just uh, tuned, in. tuned in, the uh, solar system moves northward at uh, 69,000 kilometres per hour and that pulls the planets behind it. Now Albert Einstein had been working on uh, a formula to work out how gravity is affected in space and he did it in such a way that was quite stupid. Um, he suggested a trampoline with a bowling ball in the centre of it and uh, that causes the the bowling ball to pull the gravity down of space and then rolling around it is the moon in another little track that goes around and around and that's how they come up with the idea of the It's not like a roulette wheel isn't it? You've got the well, centre of it so and, 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 and In actual fact if that was the case the uh, gravity of the sun would pull the mm. planets into it within a matter of oh, months yes. and that would be the end of them. Mm. As the Earth if we got pulled in towards the sun by a million miles it would be enough to kill everybody on there. It's that precise. Okay, we've uh, got this done, haven't we? Okay, so everybody thinking uh, toward Harry. He will be kept safe. And, mm. uh, of course, the safety is in the exposure. That's what it's mm. all about. 